This is an overview of our Approvals Hub functionality within Employee Center Pro. Approvals Hub is a framework that we built to create a unified approvals box that consolidates approvals from multiple third party systems into the My Task view on Employee Center. It follows an architectural framework that creates this omni channel experience with all the approvals being available, whether that's through the portal, mobile, or even as an actionable notification on email. It is also designed to be configurable so admins can make the appropriate information and actions available for each approval type. So far, we have two pre-built integrations. The first is with Concur that allows employees to review the full expense report and approve or send it back directly from within ServiceNow without having to log into Concur. Manage, managers can approve, they can see the expense line items and itemizations directly through their channel of choice and also send remarks back in case they are sending it back to the requester. The second pre-built integration that we offer is with Workday. This allows organizations to consolidate approval requests from Workday that includes things like time off, leave of absence requests, timesheet approvals, compensation changes, job requisition approvals, as well as time off corrections, and even termination related approvals as well. This is all done through the employee center through the My Task page. There's four main layers when it comes to implementing Approvals Hub. The first layer is the integration layer. This is where it leverages the existing integration hub framework and spokes to build these integrations with the third party applications. As I mentioned, we have two pre-built integrations out of the box, one with Concur and one with Workday, but the framework is there to build to other systems. The second layer is the data model. There's an out of the box flow that fetches data from third party systems like Concur or Workday and inserts them into ServiceNow data tables. The third layer is the configuration layer. This is where admins can configure different sections on the to do's or on the approvals page to display request specific information that is coming from that third party system. The fourth layer is the experience layer. And that's where you decide where you want this approvals experience to lie whether it's on the mobile application, on the employee center, or embedded within Microsoft Teams, or a combination of both. Let's take a look at the approvals hub functionality within Employee Center Pro. I'm in the employee portal as Maria, who's a manager within the organization. She can get to her My Task box a couple of different ways, throughout the top here, or also through the My Active Items widget here. She can easily drill into her tasks and within her tasks, she can easily filter by a number of different task types, whether it's approvals that she needs to complete, learning that she needs to take, or even content that she has to review here. Within her task box, she has a number of different approvals that she has to approve here, including items within ServiceNow, as well as items outside of ServiceNow. She drills into this travel expense request for Emily, her direct report here. At the top, she's able to see a couple of header details that are coming from SAP and down below, she has all the expense line items. This is where she can see all of the transaction dates for the hotel stay, as well as drill in and see the individual receipt details. Maria has all of the insight as well as all of the comments that she needs to see in order to go in and approve this particular expense report. She can either decide to approve it or also send it back with comments to the particular requester. Let's look at some other example use cases coming from Workday. When Maria drills into this job change here, this is where she can see a couple of those job change details. You have the ability to configure what details you want to display as part of this requester page here that's coming from Workday. From here, she can either decide to approve it or she can drill in to, to review that full job change report within Workday. Same thing when it comes to this time off request here. This is where she has the ability to view the time off request details. She can see that Emily is taking off nine hours here and she can drill in and see the comments that are coming from that request within Workday. And this is where she has the ability to either approve or reject this time off request here. This would then update that time off request in Workday and send that information back. That was a look at our Approvals Hub functionality. If you're looking for additional help on Employee Center features, please visit us on the Employee Center Product Hub or scan one of the QR codes to attend the Employee Center Academy, Office Hours, or Confidential Roadmap webinars.